for prototyping, tooling, casting, or direct part manufacturing, DLP technology is a choice for mass production manufacturers and hobbyists. A 3D printer powered by DLP technology is compatible with a wide range of resins, prints fine detailed objects, and can scale images for larger prints. With this DLP system architecture, the MicroMirror array exposes an entire layer in one shot, meaning a faster build independent of layer complexity and detail. Hi, my name is Chelsea Swan, DLP product marketing engineer at Texas Instruments. The new stereolithography 3D printer reference design based on DLP technology employs the DLP 3D Structured Light Software Development Kit. This kit easily integrates TI's digital micromare device technology and constructs 3D objects with ease and precision. Let me tell you how this works. It starts with a virtual object or model constructed in the CAD software. The 3D printing software then slices the model into many thin cross-sectional layers. These layers are projected as light patterns, while the solid object is progressively built up from the exposed regions of the liquid polymer resin. The light exposure hardens the resin. The resulting solid object is a consolidation of these hardened layers of polymer, which mimic the original CAD model. TI's highly differentiated and fully embedded DLP 3D printer reference design includes the DLP Lightcrafter 4500 evaluation module, featuring the DLP 4500 digital micromirror device and the DLP C350 digital controller to accurately expose object layers. It also utilizes TI's low power MSP430 embedded processor to synchronize layer exposure with motor control for precise incremental builds. Other features of the TI design include an integrated motor drive routine, a customizable GUI, and a modular design for cross DLP platform utilization. Whether it's prototyping, direct manufacturing, or do-it-yourself projects, find a solution with TI's new stereolithography DLP 3D printer reference design. Download the free design files at ti.com slash DLP 3D print. Thanks for watching.